Hi everyone. My name is Harald Peel and I'm a software engineer at Red Hat, leading the Whitefly Management Console. In today's video, we will look at a new feature we're currently working on. It's about bringing support for gRPC to Whitefly. It is in an early stage, but we would like to introduce it to you today, so you can give it a try and if you want to get involved, participate and contribute to it. So let's jump into today's topic. What is gRPC? gRPC is a modern open source high performance remote procedure call framework. It can run in many different environments, but the main usage scenario is connecting polyglot microservices. It also supports connecting mobile devices and browsers to backend services, but the main focus is definitely microservices. gRPC uses an IDL language that supports many different target languages. One of them is Java. It also supports bidirectional streaming based on HTTP2 and uh, pluggable auth tracing and load balancing. Wildfly gRPC is currently hosted in the Wildfly X Trust repository on GitHub. It currently implements a Wildfly feature pack, and since it is in an early stage, it only supports Wildfly uh, gRPC services at the moment but uh, gRPC clients and other features will follow soon. The uh, repository comes with uh, different examples and a readme how to get started. In today's video, I would like to take a look at one example which implements a simple chat service. Well, the chat service uh, consists of three pieces. One is the proto-definition of gRPC. Uh, another one is a service, and then we have a client which is implemented in Java FX and which uses a simple user interface to connect to the deployed service. So let's take a look um, at the proto definition of the gRPC service. You can see uh, we have two messages. Uh, one message is used by the client to send a message to the service. Then we have uh, another message uh, which is used by the service and which mirrors the incoming messages and sends them back to the connected clients. <clears throat> and finally, we have uh, our service definition, which is a bidirectional, uh, which uses bidirectional streaming. So it listens to incoming messages from clients and streams them back to uh, clients. Now, gRPC. Uh, uses this service definition uh, to generate code for, for Java. So the generated code consists of um, the messages we are using and an abstract service base class. And this abstract service base class is the one we need to implement. So here we can see our service definition. It extends from the generated base class. And this is the service uh, class we need to annotate with our custom annotation. This annotation is then detected by the deployment scanner. Then a gRPC server is started and the service is registered against this service. The implementation is pretty simple in our case, though we listen for chat messages incoming uh, coming from the clients and we turn these messages into a chat message from server. Then we set a timestamp and finally uh, send them back to the connected clients. Now let's take a look how this um, how this is working in action. So in the README, you find instructions how to build and deploy the service and how to start the clients. So let's go to the console. I have checked out the gRPC feature pack on my machine. And now we can use uh, Maven to run and to start Wildfly and uh, deploy the service. Now this command will provision a Wildfly server using Galleon. And um, Galleon will also take care that our Wildfly gRPC feature pack is uh, part of the uh, started Wildfly server. And finally, we use the Wildfly Maven plugins to build and to deploy our gRPC service. And uh, the deployment scanner will take care of detecting the gRPC services and start the gRPC server. Now, uh, we should see uh, log messages in the log uh, saying that the gRPC server has been started. Right now, this uses a fixed port, but this will be configurable, of course. 
And uh, the next line says that our gRPC service has been started. Now at this point, we can open up uh, additional shells and use another Maven command to start two clients. Now the two gRPC clients have been started up. As you can see, it's a very simple user interface. Um, first of all, let's give each client a name. So we will call the left one Alice. And as you can guess, the right one will be Bob. And now we can start sending messages to each other. So Alice will say, hi, Bob. Send this message and Bob will answer with, hi, Alice. So you can see the service is working. The messages are sent to the service and service um, will send the messages back to the connected clients. Now in this video, we took a first look at the Wildfly GRPC feature pack. We saw how to build it, how to deploy some sample GRPC services, how to annotate our services, and finally how to use the clients to connect and call and use the services. So this is, as I said, in a very, uh, very early stage and we would love to get feedback. So feel free to reach out to us using the GitHub discussions or using GitHub issues and pull requests. Of course, we are also looking forward to any kind of improvements, ideas, and uh, of course, to any kind of contributions. You will find all necessary links in the video descriptions. Also, please leave a comment if you have any suggestions for the video and don't forget to subscribe to the Wildfly channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.